Good evening, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I noticed there was three earthquakes along the east coast of the U.S., which I thought was really unusual. Lately, there's been earthquake swarms. Um, it's unusual to even have one a day, but I got them marked out. Here we had one in New Jersey, up over here. This was the deepest of the three earthquakes. Lebanon, New Jersey. Five people actually said they felt this magnitude 1.3. It was almost five miles deep, 4.8 miles, I guess. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Here's the reports that came in. Um, Calpon, intensity level two. There was two reports there. Uh, Warren, intensity level two. Also two reports. And then Neptune. Intensity level 2, also one report. Here's the location of that 1.3. Yeah, there's been a lot of earthquakes um, since they had that large one, which was what, a 4.0, I believe. And that was on April of this year. Okay. And I believe this is part of the um, seismic zone which is part of the Avalonia microcontinent, which, uh, you know, eons ago when the different uh, continents were moving around. Um, yeah, it slammed up over here. Uh, I got drawn out the ramp of pole fault. But I want to talk about the two that occurred further south that I got marked out um, close to the Savannah River. That earthquake and these two here are also part of the Appalachian Seismic Zone. Doing some research also to uh, North Carolina, where they had a magnitude 5.1 earthquake near Sparta. Many of you might remember that. Evidently, it's hard to believe that they actually used to believe that the Appalachians were considered a dead mountain range with little likelihood of discovering any types of ancient faults that could cause earthquakes. Yeah, a dead <laughs> zone. Look at all the earthquakes. Yeah, some crazy stuff that some of these geologists believe. So going to Sparta, where they had that magnitude 5.1 earthquake. Okay, let's see. Where is it at? Right there. Okay. The reason they believe that the Appalachian Mountains was considered a dead zone is because there was no record of earthquakes east of the Mississippi that had produced a surface rupture, not even um, devastating tremors such as the 1886 earthquake in Charleston, South Carolina. No, sur no surface rupture. But the Sparta earthquake was first of its kind where they actually found a surface rupture I believe about two and a half miles long, and they named it the Little River Fault. Because of that earthquake, scientists are now learning a lot about what they call interplate earthquakes, where they're having earthquakes um, that are not supposed to happen. So let's go down over here. You know, because of their beliefs, this is probably why they built several nuclear power plants uh, we got one right here. That's the Oconee nuclear power plant. And then we got another one right over here, which is the Catawba Kata uh, nuclear power plant, nuclear power station. Let's see. We got another one right over here. The Virgil C. Summers uh, nuclear power plant. But what I found interesting about these three earthquakes other than the fact that there was three within a very short period of time, is that the first one was classified as zero kilometers above sea level. And that one was this one right here, a magnitude 1.5. This area, too, has recently been having a lot of earthquakes. I did a report about that, I think, yesterday. No, day before yesterday. Uh, four people said they felt that earthquake. Um, you know, they always try and tell us that earthquakes of a magnitude 2.5 or, or lower, people don't feel them. But four people did feel it. It was given an intensity level 
of zero or, or three excuse me I'm looking at the zero here so right at the epicenter there in Greenwood two people said they felt it intensity level two and then further south North Augusta um, intensity level three one person said they felt that and then for some reason they got this one here at Greer um, intensity level one one person said they felt that so the first earthquake was at 5.13 a.m., depth of zero. Then we had another magnitude 1.5 in North Carolina. It was deeper, um, 6.9 kilometers in depth. That occurred at 12.27 p.m., just after noontime, um, 6.9 kilometers in depth. So that would be 4.2 miles in depth. No one said they felt that earthquake. And then the third one, let um, me go back to this. Let me pull it over here. The 1.3. See, that was deeper. So as these earthquakes progressed at north, they got deeper. That one was at 1241 p.m., about a half an hour after the second earthquake. And that's the one where five people said they felt it. There's been a lot of talk lately about um, the government having the ability to create earthquakes. I don't know if you believe in that or not, but uh, myself, I personally think they probably can do it. And I thought this was strange. One, that there was three earthquakes starting out with um, a depth of zero and then going up to, or going down to a deeper depth of four. And then the other one, way by uh, New Jersey. Let me see if I can find it again. There it is. Even deeper. And I thought, well, is there a fault line that connects all these? Only thing that really connects any of them is the supposed dead <laughs> Appalachian Mountains. But I was also shocked to find out about all the nuclear power plants in this location. Down over here in Charleston, um, that's where they had the magnitude 6.9 earthquake in 1886. Yeah, no surface um, rupture, even during that earthquake. Nothing was found. A lot of damage, yeah. But then the Sparta one was the first earthquake that they ever had um, that did have a surface rupture. I guess you can say it was the first one in modern history of uh, people experiencing earthquakes along the East Coast that it ever occurred. But I don't know, what is your thoughts about how these three earthquakes occurred, one after another, going deeper and deeper as it progressed um, Yeah, towards the north? Northeast would be this other one. Yeah, I've been spending all day trying to figure out, you know, yeah, they do have the rampable fault. But because of these two, I suspect it's something to do with the Savannah River. You know, rivers often follow fault zones. Um, geologists don't believe that the Savannah River has ever had earthquakes. Doing the research that I was looking up today. And that was probably their reasoning for building all the nuclear power plants in this location. Because they thought, well, yeah, no great earthquakes have ever occurred in this location. You know, there's a lot of talk about private property owners um, that may have lithium underneath, you know, their homes. A coincidence? I don't know. I don't believe in coincidence. Do you? What is your thought about this? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, something I may be missing, yeah, let me know. Uh, please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Yeah, can you imagine a large earthquake? Yeah, with a nuclear power plant? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, be safe, be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.